Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and this is a little bit of a different workshop. We're not going to be using any particular application. We're actually going to use the command line to solve a very common problem when it comes to compiling data. Obviously, there's a lot of applications that can do this, but I think this is just an effective way of, of combining data using a very, very simple format. So what you have here, what I have here is I have the 2009 2010 matchup data. So you can see that there's 1200 uh, CSV files. And the issue is that if I want to analyze these files, I'm going to have to go and combine them. Sure, I could do some directory batch imports, which I'm going to show you later in ACL, or I could do the same thing in IDEA, or I could combine them using a number of different applications. But to be honest, it's actually pretty painful to, to go and combine these files. So what you'll see here is a lot of really useful data. It tells you who's playing, uh, what was the play, where scored, where on the court people were when they were taking certain shots. So it's a really useful data. But unfortunately, to go and combine 1,200 data, 1,215 data sets, it's actually pretty difficult. So I'm going to show you a quick shortcut on how to actually do this. So the key is, is we're going to actually use the command line and the command line is, it's going to look uh, basically like DOS space where we're going to write in some text, but I'm going to show you it's actually pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to press control and shift at the same time and you're going to right click. And then what you'll see here is open command line, go open command window here. And what you'll see there, it clicks there. It already mapped the path for me based off the data folder. Sure. You could start back on the C drive or open up command line anywhere and then get to this folder. But this will work no matter where you are in your computer or what folder you're in. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to pretty simple process. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the function for, which will basically do a loop. And then we're going to go percent and really you can type anything here and it's going to go percent a in uh, then the wild card, which is basically um, this multiplication uh, wild card sign, and then we're gonna go dot csv, which is the format there that our files are in. So if it was a text file, then obviously use dot txt, and then we're gonna close the bracket, and then we're gonna go do type quotation, and we basically whatever you type here, type in quotation over here. And then we're going to go, which basically mean uh, like two uh, greater than signs, which will basically mean uh, export the file and we need to point it somewhere and it's going to default to, uh, to the same folder. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this underscore MBA uh, data season 2009, 2010. Some people like to put dot CSV at the end, but I really don't like to because what I find sometimes when I'm doing this is that it will it will then import the the dot CSV file that we created again. So if we go down to the very bottom, what you'll see here is now we have this very large file that's now actually extremely large, uh, mainly because it captured all the white space as well from the data. And it's actually going to take a little bit to, to open. But you saw how quickly that was. What was that, like 45 seconds, a minute? To actually go and combine 1,200 CSV files. And it can scale to any uh, number. So I've used it combining like thousands of, of data files together. It's actually very useful. So what you'll see here is now we've combined really like half a million lines worth of data. And you don't necessarily, if obviously if you open it in text file, then there's a number of different formats. But you'll see here, we'll take a look here, uh, and then you'll see the data that was compiled. And obviously it's also gonna take in the headers, right, because it's adding up everything. And you'll see here, we've added up uh, 1200 different data sets. So that's pretty much it. And uh, hopefully you learned something. I'll also paste the code that I used below, uh, but feel free to change the, when you look at here, uh, what I would recommend ch to change. So you just press up to call upon the code again. 
is uh, obviously change your export name. But that's pretty much the process of combining data files using command line. Thank you. And if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out any other videos. And in fact, feel free to subscribe if, uh, if you did learn something. Thank you.